Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Madden 24 Ultimate Team. This is the first time we're going to be able to hop on the game after some server issues to start the Madden season. <clears throat> we are finally able to get on uh, Ultimate Team here and, and I just want to go through uh, the field passes here because there's kind of more than I, what I had thought. Um, not that I kept up with every single leak, every single piece of news that was going to come out over the summer here. But um, I didn't quite realize there would be quite as many in the game. Right now it's August 15th. I don't think the full game comes out until the 17th. This is, uh, if you pre-ordered the deluxe edition, you got it a few days early. And that's where we're at here. So but so there's quite a few things in the game for a for, uh, game that's not even really technically out yet. So, um, yeah, there's Season 1. There's the Ultimate Preseason. Uh, Team Captains has a field pass as well. And then there's also Headliners, which is going to be the first promo of the year. So we'll just start right at the top here. <coughs> And, and start with season one and and to get into your field pass is a little bit confusing i really couldn't find anything else um an easier way to get into them here so what i did was just went to live events and then i go to objectives and that's going to load us into ob our objectives of what um how we can earn you know xp and things like that to gain into the field pass and just click over to the rewards and you can see the rewards so that's what we're going to be looking at in the, in the video here just showing you all the rewards and what you can earn um uh, of course, they're all free. You don't, they're, they're, you don't, they're, you don't have to pay for anything like that. So, but um, to start off, you do get it, uh, DeAndre Swift. I did hear about, I did hear about most of these rewards um, for the season one pass. So probably nothing too crazy here. But you get to see where you get the packs. On level six here, we're going to get a max fantasy pack. Not exactly sure what that pack is really going to look like. It has Cam Jordan on the on the thing though, on the cover of it. Not too bad. Um, Bryce Young, I do believe he can be upgraded to I think an 86. So that's not too bad. <clears throat> Level 9 and 10 here, some more packs, a Pro Max Fantasy and a Max Fantasy. Um, we got a Micah Hyde pack, I like that, we like the Micah Hyde packs around here. Uh, 10k coins, get a uniform, uh, another Max Fantasy pack, Jalen Ramsey, who I think comes in at like an 87 or something like that, and you can upgrade him all the way to an 89, uh, so not too bad, another 10k, another Micah Hyde pack, um, looks like an East uniform, maybe this was the West, oh this was North, okay, okay. <clears throat> so you have a North uniform, and East uniform. Another 10k coins, headliners pack, um, and then here's where you get your Reggie White. I do believe he can be upgraded as well as you're probably going to see, um, you're going to be able to see uh, upgrade tokens for him as well, I do believe. Uh, pro, maker, pro Playmaker pack, a Sauce Gardener pack, love that. Uh, South Uniform, okay, so I wonder what these are. I wonder if they're like, um, like divisions maybe, maybe like like the Southern divisions, like NFC South, AFC South, and you know, I, I don't know, I don't know exactly what those are. Here's the, here's the Bryce Young token to upgrade him, another 10K. You do get to get some good coins. There's your Jalen Ramsey uh, upgrade pack, a Star Elite pack on at level 29, not too bad there. Another Playmaker pack. Uh, there's your West, your West, um, <clears throat> your West uniform, and you see we get a D Hop there. Okay, okay, and they do have him in the Titans uniform, like that. Um, and what is that? Like outside apprentice, something like that, or wide receiver apprentice, whatever that might be, some kind of apprentice. Another star elite pack. I do think D Hop can be upgraded as well. Um, we'll see if we get a, an upgrade token. We get Wembley Stadium, um, kind of like a throwback to, like I feel like Madden 25, maybe, maybe that that had a Wembley Stadium. I remember playing that in Madden 25. More coins, Pro Fantasy pack, Pro Max Fantasy pack. Uh, a max fantasy pack lots of packs throughout this year you can kind of see where you get them along the way <clears throat> i do i feel like this is way more packs than we got um at least at the beginning of of, of last year <clears throat> to start with these field passes there is your reggie white upgrade token another sauce gardener pack um 10k another Jalen ramsey token to get him up to that 89 uh season two xp if you get there so that's not too bad and, and i mean and i think you would get there because i mean you definitely want to get that ramsey that 89 ramsey and you're already at 55 so you're probably going to end up getting your season two collectible i feel like that was like really far off um <clears throat> Like after you had like technically completed your field pass last year, I feel like the season two collectible was so far away last year that I, I mean, I really stopped after whatever guy like, after you got like your Deion Sanders earlier in the year. I stopped, I stopped really grinding after that to get these uh, XP. But this is pretty close to the end of the field pass, so I feel like a lot of us will probably end up getting that. Another Star Elite pack at the end, more coins, and then a Triumph Elite pack with Patrick Mahomes on it. You gotta wonder what that is. 61, what is that, a million and a half XP? Uh, that's <clears throat> definitely gonna be a grind. Uh, I mean, you can see what we have so far, rushing yards, passing yards, points, all that good stuff. Um, and then you're just dailies and stuff like that. That's how we can that's how we can earn our XP as of right now. But that is the entire Season 1 pass. So um, pretty good rewards there, I would say. A uh, ton of packs, way more packs, I feel like, than, than previously. And, and Well, I mean, only one year, but 
than than in Madden 22. Really, that was I think that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I give it like uh, seven or eight out of ten, probably. Honestly, I mean, it can always be better. You can always get better uh, rewards and stuff like that. Ask for better rewards, but <clears throat> not too bad. Good packs, uh, good players. If you, if you can upgrade them the whole way, lots of coins. That's pretty much the three things, right? Coins, packs, and and players so that's not too bad not too bad taking the time out from the video here i just want to thank you guys for clicking on the video and watching here uh if you're if you're liking what you're seeing go ahead and click the subscribe button i just want to remind you to do that here trying to get over that 1000 subscriber mark uh that's a big milestone so we're looking to get there here uh hopefully by the end of the year as the new season starts here and yeah just appreciate you guys checking out the videos clicking the like clicking the subscribe commenting all that good stuff and uh yeah i'll keep it short and sweet and send it back to the video but this one is the preseason uh the preseason ultimate preseason uh battle pass battle field pass whatever um and you can see i already did some of these objectives here i got the laramie tensil got the three cool and i got 500 coins coming my way these are pretty simple i mean the objectives are just uh doing challenges which you you can just do the preseason challenges there's five of them which you complete five challenges so pretty simple there complete two sets and i'm waiting to obtain this obtain jalen hurts um right now i'm not sure if this is a uh, incorrect or or whatnot but i mean you only need one player and it's a silver 82 you need jalen duncan and of course i don't have jalen duncan i mean i i mean this is really the first time i booted up mutt and and of course there's none on the auction house because people are probably just doing a set if they would have him so uh i'm not sure if that's supposed to be just like any uh 67 overall silver card or or if we're supposed to get jalen duncan somewhere along the road here uh, to be able to get this hurts. I'm not exactly sure. I, I literally did the first the first time I actually loaded up much. So um, not quite sure. Not quite sure there. But it's only an 80 overall. Jalen hurts. Um, so nothing too crazy there. But that will complete your field pass <clears throat> if you do that set. That would give me the rest of the XP, and then you would get a BND Ultimate Preseason Player Pack. Not sure exactly what overall goes in there, but it is BND. But early in the year, obviously, I mean anything is going to help. But little little six level uh, battle pass right there. Just for the ultimate preseason, something something else to kind of kickstart the season, kickstart the year. Um, next one is the team captains, which this is actually pretty cool. Um, it was rumored that you would be able to get all four uh, team captains, and it turns out that we actually can. So you see, you get Frank Gore, you get an upgrade token. You get Kevin Mawai, you get an upgrade token. You get Rondé Barber, upgrade token. Uh, EB, upgrade token. Then you get um, more upgrade tokens to, I'm assuming, uh, kind of fill out. I think they go up to 85 overall to so sort of fill out the rest of that, the rest of, um, get the whole way to 85 for all four of these guys. So that's pretty cool. You get all four of them. You get Eric Berry, you get Rondé Barber, you get Kevin White, you get Frank Gore. That's not bad. Um, look at the objectives. I haven't really done this uh, yet. Win games and solo battles are head-to-head. -head. Fumbles, field goals, interception sacks, tackles, win games, score points. Um, with team captain, of course, in your lineup, uh, gain yardage. Okay, so like nothing crazy. Uh, these look like it says team captains week one as well. So I'm assuming we're gonna get these weekly. Um, uh, maybe maybe not. Week, maybe that's too crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Um, maybe challenges you get weekly. Uh, we'll be able to upgrade them, you know, uh, a little bit slowly and as well. So, but you get all four of them. Very cool out of the team captains field pass so we have one more left here team captains we go down to headliners of course like i said this is going to be the first promo in the game so that's pretty cool that's that's actually awesome um headliners always a good program to start the year um you get some good cheap cards um uh the past few years they've obviously had baked in abilities which is very cool this this one's a little bit bigger here um you get you start off with a 79 overall bnd front page player plus a token fantasy pack so we'll see exactly what those tokens do um in upgrading you know and, and what they upgrade and things like that here you get thirty thousand season xp so that's that's not bad and 84 overall bnd headliners hero i'm not sure i feel like they do have abilities well you'll have to let me know in the comments or we'll have to get on my, G, my gg maybe um and see if they have baked in abilities i feel like the 84s did have baked in abilities but i'm not 100 percent on that here's another front page token not exactly sure what those go to right now another 30k xp uh, 74 plus headliners player pack, so that's going to be auctionable. You do like to see that. That's not too bad. Um, a 5k coins uh, at 16,000 XP level nine. Okay, another front page token. Um, I'm not sure. I know you get an Odell um, through solo challenges. I'm not sure if that is a part of upgrading the Odell or or whatnot. I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, what those do. Another 30k though. So that's like what, like 90 90k, 120k um, 
uh, on your season battle pass, on your season one battle pass, it's like a 120k, 150k, 180k if those are 30s at the end. The 30s, 25 and 25. Okay, okay, okay. So that's like what, like I don't know, 170,000 XP, something like that, uh, at, the, at, at the end of this whole thing. If you would complete the entire the entire headliners uh, a field pass, which is pretty good, which is pretty good. And then you get a 74 plus another 5k and an 84 overall headliners hero fantasy pack. Okay, so that's probably that is going to be auctionable. So that's that's nice there at the end. That's not too bad. Um, some of the objectives are pass for yeah 4k. Earn, do your solos, some sets, do 10 sets, house rules, so there's house rules in the game. I'm not sure if house rules is in the game prior, like right now, early in the game, but house rules will be in the game if it isn't right now. And then win 30 or, win 30 head-to-head -head or solo battles, okay, okay, with, uh, with the headliners in your lineup. But that is the four battle passes we currently have in the game right now at launch. Um, pretty good rewards, pretty good rewards. Like I said, prop, I'd probably stick with about an 8 out of 10. Uh, for these rewards, not too bad. Um, they got rid of a lot of the stupid stuff like like jerseys, like uniforms. Like you just get a random Eagles uniform for some reason that like only Eagles fans would really use. Not not to shade the Eagles, but 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 that, but you don't want to be getting uniforms in a battle pass. Like we're getting much more productive things. Like 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 I said, uh, packs, players, season XP coins, things like that. Th things that we'll actually use. So not too bad. Eight out of ten. Um, eight out of ten. Yeah.